Hi story lovers, I'm children's author Steph Gemmell and today I'm inviting you inside my writing studio. I live on the surf coast of Victoria in Wadawurrung country and pay my respects to elders past, present and future. I'm a part-time writer and need to plan my writing time carefully and I keep my writing space simple and uncomplicated. I write here mostly in the early hours of the morning and at night. And today as I walk you through my writing studio, I'm going to share with you some of the tools and processes that I use to move from story idea to the first draft to that final polished picture book. So let's step inside the studio. Ta-da! Welcome to my writing studio. This is it. I did say it was uncomplicated and simple. Basically, I have my work planner and my writing desk. And that is my writing studio. My work planner helps me keep track of what I'm working on and what some of my deadlines are. In my stories and competitions column, I've got publishing pictures, competitions and story seed ideas. Next, I've got a to-do list of what my priorities are, my work in progress, stories that are test being tested or edited, and my done column. And also my writing desk. It's actually a converted sewing desk. It's got all my tools to hand. Let's have a look inside. My writing desk has compartments for pens, pencils, business cards, my post-it notes for my work planner and other stationery. I also have to hand key reference books. This one I use all the time to find the right level word for the target audience for the book that I am writing. When I am drafting my first draft, before I even do that, I plan out my work using Sean Coyne's Story Grid Planner, which looks at the plot story arc as well as the character arc and I dot it out before leaping into writing out my first draft. In here, I also have a box of goodies I use for story ideas that might spark a unique story to mind. A good pair of noise cancelling headphones comes in handy so I can block out all of the noise around me. I also have my writing desk facing a blank wall so I'm not distracted so I can really focus on getting the words down in the short space of time that I have. Once I've finished the final draft of a picture book story. I'll then plan it out using a storyboard notebook. I'll draw some scratches and scribbles as I'm not an illustrator and I plan them out spread by spread using a storyboard planner. And this helps me visualize the story and ensure the pace is right. Children's authors often attend school workshops and I use a small wheelie suitcase so I have all my props, craft activities and books to hand and can whiz off down to a school and spend a day with the children sharing my stories. That concludes my writing studio tour. If you're keen on writing, all you need is a good plan, an uncluttered writing desk, and no distractions, and a lot of imagination. If you'd like to learn more about me and my books or contact me, 
You'll find me on my website, stephgemmel.com. Thanks for joining me today, story lovers.